says he has the patience to stick it out at Celtic. How much are you enjoying life at Celtic just now? Obviously it's really good. Uh, what I want to do is I want to play from the start for Celtic and uh, that's what I need to try and do more often. I've done it again Sunday against Kilmarnock and uh, fortunately I got the goal. What's it going to take for you to achieve that ambition to play regularly from the start? I don't know, I just need to keep on trying and working hard and training and uh, if I do get a chance I need to try and take it. Invariably when he has been on the pitch, for instance here at Pataudry, Birchall has performed in a way which has given his boss something of a headache. The quality of the squad we have here and everyone impressing, particularly Mark, who's impressed in the reserves, he's impressed in training, and of course he took his chance when it came. So it's not a foregone conclusion, but I can only play, pick 11. And, the, the, you know, they, they accept it. Of course, they're not very happy about it, but they accept it because it's whatever decision I take is for the good of the, good of the club. So um, uh, it's, a, it's a nice problem to have. What's life like under John Barnes at Celtic Park? Ah, it's really good. I mean, uh, Kenny, they've come down to train, they work very well with you. And it, uh, me, especially being a young player, they teach me a lot of things and they help me, take me aside and uh, uh, give a lot of the experience that they've used and they, they tell me things what to do. How much do you think it, you proved a point, perhaps to the management and indeed to the fans on Sunday scoring that goal against Kelly? Well, I showed them at least I can, uh, I can cope with it if I do play from the start and uh, that I can score goals. Are you confident that that will lead to more starts, maybe even from next week? I hope, hopefully, but you never know, you'd have to ask the manager that. But uh, we'll need to wait and see what happens. It's all part and parcel of, of growing up and, and learning the game. You know, we, we've all been there when we've, we've been 19 or 20. And um, when you're that young, you want to play every game because you're eager and you're keen and you want to learn. You know, and that's no different for Mark. You know, the, the more and more that he comes on and does that, the harder it'll be to leave him out. Virgil is there as well, here's Mark Virgil. That's number five. A fairy tale for Mark Virgil. How much pressure do you feel, Mark? Because there's an awful lot of people saying you're the new Michael Owen for Scotland. What do you think of all that stuff? Ah, it doesn't bother me, I just need to try and... Uh, I just uh, keep on thinking about my own game and every time I get into the Celtic team try to score goals. And uh, what uh, anybody wants to say about me is flattering, obviously, but I just try to ignore it. So, how settled do you feel at Celtic, given the circumstances that you're in? Obviously, I'm very settled. That's why I signed a four and a half year deal. And, uh, they're, they're talking about me. For, I'm going to be playing uh, for Celtic a long time in the future, and obviously, that's what I want to do. Are you a man with a lot of patience? Yeah. Well, I'm. Uh... Backed.